Michael, someone just had an orgasm. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> Let's just say I'm going home with stinky pants. <laughs> <laughs> That's also the name of my new restaurant where it's all cinnamon buns. <laughs> because that's where the money's at. In the bank goods. <laughs> <laughs> sticky pants right next to Auntie Ann's pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, let me tell you something. When you walked in here tonight, Woo! you had a life. <laughs> Some of you, it might have been interesting. Some of you, like me, maybe not so. But tonight, when you leave, your life will be changed. When you walked in here tonight, you were seen in black and white. After tonight, your brain is going to have a whole explosion of awesomeness inside of it, sending signals to your eyelids, and you will see life in color after tonight's show. <laughs> in the show tonight with a point of view from the 1950s and we will be walking out of it with a point of view from 2012. Take that, bitch. <laughs> to be completely honest, tonight I was a little disappointed in this side's <laughs> Let's show them how it's done. had 75% of the audience with me. Now, I've got 100%. You know what that means? It's time for Blast Off. Woo! When I mean Blast Off, I mean it's time to fucking break in to the Spaceship Endeavor and rate it for all its science knowledge. Folks, part of me says this is a bad idea telling you this, but on Friday and Saturday, you will find me in one of the biggest space shuttle heists of the century. <laughs> they will be transporting the shuttle to its final resting place. I will be doing my biggest space shuttle heist in the world. Keep your eyes open or closed for that one. <laughs> then I'll write a movie about it as I sit in my prison cell. <laughs> Sometimes it feels good to be part of the Mafia. Folks, it's... <laughs> Folks, it's fucking hot up here. <laughs> Guys, I'm not up here to talk about the temperature out here. I'm not here to talk about the temperature in my ball region. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about the temperature right underneath this stage right here. Right now, it's actually fairly... It's fairly cold. It's fairly cold. <laughs> but underneath here, we have 15 propane gas burners ready to heat the stage up right underneath. Some might call it a Pfizer fire hazard. I call it awesome. Because tonight, we have 15 propane, propane burners underneath this stage. The only problem is I don't have a way to ignite it. Oh, wait. Yes, I do. It's called a fucking cage match. <laughs> been here 38 weeks in a row. If you divide that, if you divide that by four, you'll get 18! <laughs> no. Thank goodness three people understand math in this room. The rest of you who didn't correct me, shame on you. And shame, most importantly, on the public school system. Am I right? <laughs> what I'm talking about, because he lived and breathed public school systems, bitches. <laughs> this is a weird cage match. <laughs> no, it's not. Take that weird, boom, pump it out of here.
ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to get this thing started. Because we have a championship team who has won 38 weeks in a row. If you take that and you divide it by two, you get 19. Uh, yeah! yeah. You might be excited for improv, but I get fucking up hard on for math. Because that is science, science, science. That is unproven beyond a doubt. Mathematics, hey, listen, the arts, it comes and goes. It goes through waves, all right? Things come and go, but with math, it's fucking here to stay, and you can't break it down. Folks, put me in a time capsule, because I need to stay here right now. All right. Some weeks aren't always a win for me. But it has been a win for our championship team for the past 38 weeks in a row. They are here to go for their 39th win. Folks, that is almost 4-0. Almost 4-0, but tonight they go to 3-9! If you take 9, divide it by 3, you get 3. Put that 3 in front of the 9, you get 39 wins. <laughs> Will our team do it? I don't know, because tonight we have a challenger who, let's just say this, their fingers are getting a little jittery. <laughs> they are ready to do a show. They are ready. They are mean. They are green. They are ready. Give it up for your challengers, Jitter Fingers! <laughs> at the time the LA Lakers came out and started chanting Staple Center. <laughs> championship team has won 38 weeks in a row, not spread out across time in a row. Give it up for them. Give it up for Heather and Maya. wins. If we took all those wins and they equaled one day on a calendar, you would have more wins than days in a month. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, I'm a little off the hook for tonight, but that doesn't mean that shit because we got a cage match. Heather and Miles, let me ask you, are you ready? Yeah, we're ready! Yes, we're ready. They're ready! <laughs> 